Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to fly airplanes in Alto Stormovic. It could be a little bit uh, interesting if you're a beginner, especially when you're flying in the multiplayer mode where you have a lot of servers and some of them are in the expert mode. So you don't know how to, um, you know, how to even take off an airplane because it is, you know, you have to follow some procedures. So today I'm going to show you, it is actually very simple but we're going to understand some basics of real airplanes and apply it to the game. So uh, let's select one of these um, one of these servers. Uh, I really like this one, and I like to fly a lot German airplanes, the BF 109, for example, other airplanes. Uh, these are mostly auto automatic, so you don't you don't have to do uh, basically anything in them. But uh, some other airplanes, like the American airplanes and also the Spitfire and the Russian airplanes, needs to be uh, tweaked before you know when you start them up and then during the flight. You have to change the RPMs. You have to change the the fuel um, going to the engine. You know you have to change a lot of things. So we're going to fly right now. Um, we're going to choose uh, one. German airplane, which is a Stuka, and this airplane is a little bit hard to fly and you can burn the engine very quick if you don't know how to handle it. So I'm going to, you know, just take some few bombs in it and that's okay. And uh, let's put less fuel because that's going to be very heavy. And let's go. So I really recommend using a truck IR like this one and of course a joystick because that way you can, you know, look around and that's a lot easier. So to start the engine, we're going to press E. And the sequence is, uh, you don't have to do all the things that you have to do in the real airplane, but you know, by pressing E, the sequence is going to start. So what you have to do right now is press Shift plus, and that way you put the RPMs to 100%. We can see a lot of airplanes around. So you can see to the right, you saw that I can change to less RPMs or more RPMs. And that's that lever that you see there moving. So now you see that our engines started. And also, I don't remember if we have the, the fuel. Well, this is the water the first engine water radiator so control right control plus you open it and minus you close it all right i don't know where it's located actually but yeah you have to open it so you cool down the engine while you're flying and then we are ready that's that's actually pretty much it for now now we close the the cockpit uh for that you press right alt c and we are ready so we put some flaps first stage in this airplane you just press f once and when you're up and flying you press shift f to revert the flaps to its zero position so we are ready to take off now uh, what you should do Generally, people don't do this, but what you should do is press right control L to turn on the lights, navigation lights. And we're on, and now we start putting throttle, throttle up. And you have to control the rudder a lot because all the airplanes have this tendency to go to the left because of the, you know, many different things happening in takeoff. So we're gonna take off maximum power. And we only use maximum power during the takeoff and emergency situations. Now we have to uh, keep an eye on these uh, temperature gauges because they shouldn't exceed some, you know, they shouldn't exceed around 110 Celsius degrees or something like that. It depends on the airplane. Uh, right now we are going at 200 kilometers per hour, so we can take off. This airplane doesn't have a retractable landing gear, so we don't have to worry about it. 
But the Stuka is very, very um, delicate in terms of the engine. It doesn't go too fast uh, because it's made for carrying a lot of weapons and bombs and stuff. So now we can turn off the, the navigation lights, otherwise you will be very visible to, your, to the enemy. And now we start pressing Chief minus to reduce, to reduce the RPMs. So you see that lever there, we reduce the RPMs until we see that that uh, orange arrow turns into yellow. You see, it's still going up. Now we can retract the flaps. See how the flaps are going to zero. Now we need to know where we're going. In this server we have uh, the location where you are, so you can see where you actually are. We're going to reduce the power a little bit. And maybe put the RPM up to 80, around 80. But the power is not 100%, so if I put it 100%, I will, I will be pushing the engine. So let's put it a little bit less, 90% for now. But we cannot keep it like that for long because we're going to heat the engine too much. So you have to keep an eye on those gauges for temperature. All right. So they are approaching 100 degrees. Have to be careful. So. Yeah, so now we are moving towards uh, the tank column there. So you see, we have this tank column. We're going there for dropping some bombs. And we have to climb as much as we can because that way we will, um, yeah, we will have more energy, energy stored in our airplane to gain speed. So yeah, let's keep an eye on this. For now, the challenge is to don't burn the engine. That's the challenge for now, um, to maintain, to climb. So we're okay. So one of the mistakes people make with this airplane is that they push the engine too much, and they they burn the engine. That happened to me a lot until I understood. Also, if you don't put the RPMs to its maximum during takeoff. The, the engine won't generate uh, the power to take off and it will be impossible, almost impossible to take off because the RPM is actually like the gears on your car. So if you put a higher uh, gear that is like um, putting you know, low RPM in the propeller, you won't be able to start, you know, to, to start to get moving. So that's why uh, you put the maximum RPMs so the engine can rotate faster and that way what, what it does is that the propeller pitch changes to a very low angle of attack so that the engine is not working too much so it can uh, rotate faster. So that, that's why it's called RPM because if you put more angle of attack, then the, the propeller is just moving more air, and therefore the, the engine is working a lot more to do that. So think about it as the gears of your bicycle. If you're going up, you need to move the pedals faster, so you put a lower gear, so you, you move the pedals faster, and it's softer for you, you know? it's less work. There's one guy coming, oh fuck, I have company. Fortunately, the guy over there is taking care of it. Let's see. Let's see what, what, what's gonna happen. It's coming for us. I think we, we won't make it. That's the only the only disadvantage of this airplane. It's very, very slow. I don't know where it is. 
So you see, it's very comfortable using the track IR because I can look around and it's a lot better than using the mouse. So let's see where we are. Oh, we are still midway. So we need to go a, a, a long way to go. So where is it? Nice oh, it's to the right. There it is. So we need to climb a little bit more. So we're using this instrument in the middle to know if we're climbing or off. Oh, we're, we're hit. We have been hit. So I'm going to put maximum. Engine's okay, so I'm losing fuel maybe. The good thing about this airplane is that we, uh, we have a gunner in the rear, so he's looking after us. So, yeah, I'm pushing the engine to the maximum. Oh, God. We have been hit. We lost... I think we lost some bombs or something. I don't know, something exploded. Not sure what's going on here. We're almost there, I mean, I just have to go past this. I think we're dead. I don't know if I still have the bombs because I saw something that exploded. It was weird. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Okay, so... Okay, this is a lot of damage I'm taking now. Let's see if I can reach the tanks. I st still don't see them. Ah, yeah, I see them now. But I don't think I will make it. Nope, I won't make it. I don't have elevator, I'm done. So let's, let's get out of here. What? <laughs> going to choose the G2 BF109 and also less fuel because it's a short mission I can actually put bombs so yeah I'm gonna put some bombs there and take those tanks out uh, I put a timer of three seconds this is a timer of you know when the bomb um, is launched it will take three seconds to detonate or you can also put contact you know, I'll put today two seconds. This, was, this will help you if you are close to the target, you are going very low. Uh, it will help you to uh, get away before it detonates so it doesn't uh, explode near you and it could affect you. And this has happened before to me. So I don't know, color scheme, I'm gonna take one of these, whatever. So let's let's do this. Here we are. So we press E to start the engine or, or start the whole procedure. 
so you will see that all the buttons are pressed for you you know the fuel and you know priming on all of that is done automatically because it will be a pain in the neck if you had to do all of that just like in DCS world you have to do everything uh, but this is easier but you still have to take care of the primary functions so in this airplane there is no RPM well there is but it's taken care of automatically uh, let's close the, the cockpit canopy so in this airplane we have the RPM in it's kind of a switch so it goes up and down so if we press right shift P we have a manual uh, pitch propeller control so we put uh, less RPMs and more RPMs so here I'm putting more RPMs with this switch which is in the throttle you see but we, we don't have to use this most of the times because we just activate it automatically so you see that other switch there is to out activate it and deactivate it so automatic manual automatic manual so I'm gonna leave it automatic and that way we're gonna be able to uh, just concentrate in the flight and that's it so throttle up I'm gonna put some flaps I'm gonna put like 20% something like that should be enough and throttle all the way right rudder a little bit of right rudder and you see here this coordinator uh, indicator which is that uh, black ball there it will tell you where you're going I mean it will tell you if your airplane is doing a side slip okay lights off and when the ball is to the right just kick it so make a little bit of right rudder now gear up because this airplane have retractable landing gear flaps up flaps are are done manually with this wheel here and we are yeah we are up remember remember that we are heavy because we have few bombs and yeah so that coordinator indicator or turn sorry that the, the actual name is turn coordinator so it tells you the the artificial horizon and also there is a, a needle there I, I actually don't know but it tells you exactly I don't know it's like how much of the g-forces lateral g-force or something like that I don't really know but but the black ball down there is like a level and it tells you when you should be pressing the right rudder or left rudder so you should keep it in the center so the airplane is flying efficiently this is my favorite German plane because it's fast it's very you know rugged and you can put bombs and stuff so. here you can see some anti-aerial anti artillery and tanks so I'm gonna line up and do my job we're going at 600 kilometers per hour have plenty of units there so let's let's do this see it's firing at us and there's an airplane coming I think so let's turn around. Okay.
too much fire. And drop their weapons. And yes, we got them. There's CJ planes. One destroyed this truck. This five truck and also nothing else. <laughs> so I don't have any more bombs, but the tank's still there. Let's see. Yeah, destroyed. So I still have the guns. Also keep an eye on your speed, you should not uh, go below certain speed, like in this urban might be around 200 km per hour in flight. That would be it very low, so let's see what happens when you go below 200 km per hour. Yeah, that's 200 km per hour. I still have control, but it's getting very... Now 150, that's too low. 150 is too low. So don't go below that. So we could go and search for more uh, enemy planes and shoot them down or go back to your to your base, you know, complete the mission. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going back to base, and then we're going to take a look at other airplanes and see how to control them. Now we chose a P-47. This one is a monster. This is a beast of airplane. It's very good. Uh, let's, let's shoot some stuff here okay now this airplane has few tricks so it has rpm it has a supercharger or turbo charger the engine mixture coal shutters these things on the on the front of the airplane it's very complex so let's take off and i'll show you the rest let's put flaps to 10 so leave f Rest until you get, you know, 10, 15 or something. Let's go maximum throttle. around 150 miles per hour are these miles per hour yeah miles per hour so now these call shutter have to be shut so we press left alt minus close it after that Flaps have to be up. Also, the landing gear up. Great. RPM. We lower it a little bit. So we have a lot of gauges here. Temperature, RPM, our supercharger or turbo charger, whatever it is. So to activate the turbo charger, we press uh, what it is. I think it's left shift plus. Yeah. So we activate it, and we see how this needle here starts to go up. That means that it starts to feed the engine, and you can start hearing some noise there. But it can work only for a few minutes. Okay, I think it says 15 minutes. 15 minutes periods. So yeah, I burned the engine. Bluebird, three, out of ammo. Yeah, overheating. So that's what I'm talking about. Four, Roger. Groundhog, this is Ruffman in combat sector. Over. Hey, 
Mayflower. This is Bluebird. Three, we're requesting landing approach. Over. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.